in this video and in subsequent two three videos what we are going to do is convert our application from using http request inside the main.js file into having a vuex implementation which works on stores and actions okay i'll give you a brief introduction on what the concept is we you, you need to install this package so you can do npm install vuex and save it into your dependency list i'll quickly install that anyways so yeah npm install vuex save okay that's how you install it now let's look at the concept so basically what it says is any component will not directly change any data option data object view components will call actions okay actions will kind of you know talk to the backend or uh, you know fetch any from any api and then once it receives that data it will dispatch a mutation okay this mutation is going to be handled by the state and that state is going to update itself okay once this is updated because the state is updated the component will know that and uh, you know so if it's like adding a new to do the component will fire an action say you know add new to do it will do the post request to the backend api then once that backend api is done it will hit the dispatch the mutation the mutation will update the state and the component will know that now in this entire cycle if you see the state is only mutated through actions okay no other way exist to edit the state and that's the reason you know uh, we don't need to um, you know write any broadcasts or listeners and everything because when the application grows in size we kind of uh, get into the you know loophole of you know having multiple broadcasts and event listeners which uh, is kind of difficult to handle in a large scale application and this is where you know this flux based model of um, you know application architecture comes uh, in handy okay so the two concepts are stores and actions actions will figure fire the mutations and store will listen to that mutation and update itself components will automatically know that the state has changed let's see we have vuex installed now how i'm going to you know architect my application is just uh, i don't need this i know i don't need this anymore routes.php is not required okay so yeah i'll have a vuex folder where we will have the central store okay we the main.js will know that we have a store object all right and then individual components for example to do will have its own store and its own set of actions okay that's how uh, we will architect and that's how our folder structure will be so let's dive in so the first thing that we are going to do is create our vuex uh, store file okay so inside resources assets js uh, we have components we will have another folder called vuex and in that we will have store.js okay so you know as mentioned there will be two kinds of stores one is the global store which is kind of you know keeping a track of all the different modules and their uh, all their all the different components and their stores and the individual store for each component okay so so Im we'll import first the view uh, library here so view from view and then we'll import vuex from vuex okay then we'll say view dot use we'll need to tell view that we are using vuex and there's a small configuration which we will do config view dot config dot debug say debug equals true okay that it will help us you know kind of get some basic debug messages and then we'll say constant debug 
equals let's say process dot env node env and equal to equals this is uh, something which I have you know taken from the website as well. I understand that it's something to do with that if the debug um, uh, should be you know kind of not enabled if it's a production environment, something of that sort. I have to test it out e till now. But anyways, once this is done, the basic view store is going to export the view in the store object. So export default. We create a new Vuex instance uh, and store. Okay, in that we'll pass an object which has modules and it has an st strict which will be debug. That's what we created here. Okay, now right now we don't have any modules. Um, the store is empty. Let's keep it like this for some time okay um, and in our main.js we are going to include the store so we will just do this st store okay and let's quickly see what's happening to the app okay store is not refer is not defined fine we haven't included it here so import store from it's one step back right no it's inside vuex and then store refresh um what is it some problem with the declaration i think uh, let's go into store.js modules is fine it should be i think this has to be capital if i'm not wrong fresh okay so nothing is going to change we haven't done anything right now it's just that we have implemented the store so let's take baby steps now we have the basic store ready so we will create our store for to do and the actions for to do as well Okay, so let me create a new file inside our resources assets JS components to do we will have to do store dot JS now any store will have two constants one is the state okay this is an object and constant mutations okay these are the two objects which we will export by default in the state we will have something called as to do's which is an object um, no sorry it will be an array because we need to push so this is an array and in the mutations we will have all the different mutations which the actions fire for example we will have something called get underscore to do's okay it's a mutation where the first parameter is always the state and the second is something which we can pass at any point of time uh, so yeah uh, my space should be four I'll handle that okay yeah um, correct so this is the get to do's I'll know that uh, when the action is fired, I'll get the la latest set of to do. So I can do state dot to do's will be equal to all the to do's. Okay, that's our first mutation. And we'll have add underscore to do's, which is going to be fired. And the next action will be add to do's. This is something which will be fired uh, from an action to add the new to do. So again, we will get the state, we will get a new to do. So very easily we can do state dot to do's dot push and add the new to do. Okay. So this is the store for to do. We need to uh, let the main store know that you know there is a uh, to do store. So obviously what we will do is 
into our store and import our to do store okay we'll name it to do store from we are inside the view x so we'll go one step back into components inside that we have to do folder and inside that we have to do store it's a js file so i don't need to mention the dot js okay it's understood by default and then in the modules i can add to do store okay that's it you know so going forward no matter how many components we have we just need to import it and we just need to mention it in the modules and we are done okay um okay so this is done fine so the store dot js part is over we have implemented i mean we have done everything with the vuex folder for now now it's individual uh, components